Okay, so in a recent video, I showed my KDE setup and I set up remote desktop and everything's working absolutely fine on it. But I did have a tip from Oh My Mindy, using an HDMI dummy plug will give you hardware accelerated headless, VNC or no machine, etc. So I thought I'd have a look. So I'm currently running with an HDMI in, you can see it's showing on my monitor. And if I pick up my iPad and I go into VNC and launch this desktop, Pop my password in, you can see that it all comes up fine and everything is working and the performance is pretty decent as well so uh, there isn't any issues with things launching and starting up and things like that. It's, uh, it's kind of as it would be and it's very much in sync with the Pi. But that all changes if you start up without a monitor connected. So if I shut this down, I might as well use the mouse and keyboard as I've got my monitor connected. So leave and shut down and you can see it all happening on my iPad at the same time and shut down. Now VNC uh, detected that there's nothing connected. So if I simply unplug the HDMI cable, switch it off and switch it on again and wait till I see my network light. Yeah, so now it should be pretty much started. So let's hit cancel and go back into it again. You can see nothing's coming up on the display now because it's not plugged in. There you go. So pop my password in and you can see that it's launched my desktop. So I need to pop the password in for this and that's logged in and already on the password screen it was very sluggish but have a look at the lightning on this and see that it's hardly updating at all. So the performance is much much worse. And you can see before I had uh, the files app launched and it's not full screen anymore and I can't actually change that, I can't move that around. Um, it moves around in the screen, but it's certainly not as nice to use. And if I say launch Chrome, and pretty much anything I try, so if I click on, uh, say for instance, the network connections, it just comes up really slow and it's really sluggish. If I click on RPI locator, to see how long that web page takes to come up, you can see that it comes up very, very slow and not very nice to use uh, when it's like this. So let's shut all this down. So if I close down here and click on this one, again, that took a while to come up and hit leave. Again, this is all, I'm leaving this in real time, but it is, that's actually how it is. You almost think that it's not doing it. Shut down. and shut down. Okay, so that's disconnected now. So what I can do now is take my HDMI to micro HDMI adapter, because the micro HDMI is what's on the Pi, and uh, use this little adapter that I got from Amazon. And this was only about £3.50, um, but it, it transforms it. It's a cool little device, so that's what it looks like. Pop it into here pop it into the micro HDMI and switch off and switch on again. And I can cancel this for now. I'll wait till it's started up and then log in again. Okay, that's probably enough time. So obviously I don't need all of this plugged in. I could just have power and HDMI and that would be enough to run this right. So let's log back in. Now we've got this little HDMI dummy and that came up straight away much quicker. And it's also resizable on my iPad so I can have it as a full screen or I can zoom in and let it move around the screen. Uh, so let's click on that, click on the keyboard and log in. And you'll see that even on the lightning on the startup, it is completely different. It's not the really, really slow update that it was. So I'll wait for that to start up. I've switched over to screen capture. So this is what I'm seeing on my iPad now. So if I pinch it, it goes to a full screen. And uh, if I wanna drag the mouse down, and launch apps, I can do. So Dolphin File Manager, you can see that comes up pretty quick. Let's open up Chromium and let's go to YouTube and actually restore the page because I had it on my uh, video before. So here's my video, let's click on it and uh, see how well that works. Yeah, so you can see it's jerky, but it would be like stop frame animation before. So it's definitely a big improvement on that. So let's close that down. And if I wanted to do things like update my Pi, obviously I can use this system for doing exactly that. So I can call up the updates 
see what sort of updates are there, zoom into it if I want to and have a look, and you can see update all, and that will go ahead and do all the updates. Okay, so I'm still connected, and I figured I'd try and plug in another monitor and see what happens, because I'd read something about uh, dual desktops with Chromecast support, but uh, as you can see, it's already come up as a second desktop, uh, and if I drag on this screen to the right-hand side, you can see that desktop comes up, and my mouse pointer is now on that second desktop, and if I open up the keyboard uh, and start typing Chromium, which is a nice feature of KDE. Uh, it's come up with Chromium as an option on here. Hit return and that will launch Chromium, but it does actually launch it on the main screen. So if I want to drag this across, I can double tap and then drag it and then it drags it to the other desktop. This is quite cool. Uh, and then if I go full screen, will it go full screen on that desktop? Yeah, so I have the Chrome browser on this desktop and I have uh, the normal one on this one. So does this mean that you could use dual desktops on your remote device if you had two of these dongles? I reckon it probably does, but that is pretty cool. Right, so what happens on this, if I click on that and click on cast and cast desktop, don't know quite what it's done yet. So if I do TV, and then we can choose one of the desktops this one or this one. So let's put the browser on my TV, I guess. Okay, so that's working, and uh, I, if I move the mouse around, yeah, I can launch things on my TV. I'm not sure what the use case is for this, but I did read about it and uh, didn't really get what I would use it for. So if I minimize this, does this only show Oh yeah, that's, so it is actually casting the desktop as a second display. That's interesting. So if I start typing, so say for instance, I just did files and select something on here. So file manager, which screen does that come up on? Oh, that's coming up on this screen now. So now if I go over, yeah, it's just getting confusing now, and I put the terminal on this screen, What's going to happen? Is it going to use this as a separate desktop? Oh no, it's, it's, put, it, it's put it on that screen. I don't quite know how this works, but I like it. It's, uh, I'm going to need to play around with it and find out what it does. But you can see I can drag my terminal, so I have two separate desktops now. But at the same time, it's running on this as well, but this is being mirrored to my TV. And just to show that the, uh, the monitor itself, so the HDMI going into the monitor, is more responsive. You can see that mouse pointer, uh, and if I was choosing to drag something across, you can see it's not that laggy. It's pretty usable like this. But if we go over to the TV, and if I do exactly the same thing on here, so uh, if I yeah move the mouse pointer about, it's definitely, the frame rate is definitely a lot lower. So casting the desktop doesn't work as well. And if I double tap and try and move this, you can see that it, uh, it actually slows it down on the iPad as well for doing it this way. And let's drag it onto that other screen. So this is the screen that's the dummy desktop, really. So there isn't actually a, uh, a screen that is doing this. So this is creating it. It's very clever, but it's actually quite confusing as well. I haven't quite got my hand around it. I need to play around with this more. If you use this sort of system, let me know what you use it for. Um, but it is, it is very cool. To think you could have two virtual desktops by using two of those dummies is quite an interesting thought. And so now, uh, if I just go back to my mouse and keyboard on my Pi, uh, remembering I've got a dummy adapter and um, the HDMI going into this monitor, uh, I can actually move to the left-hand side and it moves onto my iPad. So I have kind of a second screen on my iPad and I can drag things back and forth. So uh, if I drag the terminal and drag that across, so obviously it's much more responsive on here because this is natively coming through, but then go over to the right and uh, pick up the files as well and move that back over. Yeah, that, that's a great tip. I'm, I'm really impressed with this little dongle and uh, especially the thought of having two. I think I might have to order just another just to have a play around with that because it's just a weird thing. Uh, and it's it's really hard to get. I think I'm going to have to watch my own video back a few times 
to try and get my head around all the possibilities of things you can do with this. But let me know in the comments if you use something similar and how it benefits the way you use your pie. But yeah, very surprising as to how, how many different things you can do, how many different possibilities that adds. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.